Well, there's no doubt that Vladimir Putin is the man in Russia. He's the guy that owns the damn place, pretty much, lock, stock, and barrel, one way or the other. Uh, Yeah, I know, democratically elected, but I just don't... I think the United States needs to get along very well with Putin, and um, I'm going to tell you this. um, I think there's certain things. He was talking to his military about uh, military readiness and, uh, you know, different things that are going on with NATO coming up at his borders and all this kind of stuff, but uh, I did notice one thing... um, you know, and this is not to be too critical of Mr. Vlad, because I think he does actually uh, love his country a lot, even though I'm not a Russian citizen. That's not helping me out. But, you know, I respect him for him being a patriot to his own country. Uh, and I also think that um, this guy's not trying to start any kind of aggression with the United States. I don't think he is at all, to tell you the truth. I mean, he could be a little undercurrents of different things, but generally speaking, no. Um, he's actually just looking for the, out for the survival of the Russian people. But the point on this video is, um, I noticed one thing that's lacking with uh, Vladimir Putin, and it's not that he's not smart, it's not that he's not, you know, adaptable, it's not that he's not on a, on his toes in the latest political and military strategies it's that he's such a strong leader that he's got too much power focused in on one focal point and I think that also leads to a morale problem a morale problem now I don't know just how bad or good this is and actually the way I'm putting this out is not going to be something that you could take too serious but um you know, one of the things we always was always taught in the military, and it's true, you know, the number one in- indicator of leadership is morale of the troops. Now, I think there's high morale and sp- spirit to core in some areas of the Russian army, but when Vladimir Putin was talking to the Russian military, I had to just, it just couldn't escape me, the faces that were looking back at him, they looked like the most unhappy people going. I mean, they're listening to Vladimir Putin. I know they're being serious. It's a military briefing and all this kind of stuff. And yes, serious business. But they just look like very unhappy people. And I'm thinking to myself, that's not good for morale. Now, you know, I'm looking at this guy. I'm thinking, wow, that's a real happy face right there. And I know you're not supposed to be happy when you're smiling. But it seems that things are a little bit too disciplined in the Russian army in some ways. Maybe that's just the way things are. I don't know. But I just have to offer a suggestion because Russia's got a couple of things that they really, you know, if this was me and I was Vlad and I was giving out this speech, I'd be making sure there was plenty of vodka and hot women out there too to serve up the drinks. And there's nothing wrong with that, nothing wrong with that, because always the morale of the troops is the number one indicator of leadership, and you always got to know what you're defending and what you're fighting for. Now, Mr. C- Mr. CIA and Mrs. CIA don't think I'm being bad to the United States by putting this out, but this is just kind of like a, a common axiom to all militaries. And there's nothing like good old clean fun with some uh, vodka, soap, and a hot babe. Now, look at Russia's military. you got some of the hottest babes in there, and not the guy in the front, but I'm talking about all the ones behind him. Now, why aren't they at this meeting? Mm-hmm. And, you know, they could be dancing and prancing around and serving up some kind of vodka. And you wouldn't be seeing all these glum faces when Putin is talking to these guys. Because, you know, I know one thing. The Russians, they really get hot on this vodka stuff. But, I mean, hey, what the hell. You know, it's sort of like it's too serious. Too serious of a meeting. And I think that, you know, you got to really kind of loosen up a little bit. This is one of the secret strategies of the West. Because the West, you know, <laughs> even though you got oligarchs and crooks at the top and you got you know serious scumbags that are trying to control the world you know when you get right down to it the average person in the west doesn't really care about that stuff they just want to live their own life and have fun you know once in a while too while mixed in with the work and that's what you need to have mixed in with these meetings some of these hot russian chicks serving up some vodka and you know I think that would go a long, long way to morale, Mr. Vlad Putin. I'm just putting this out here as a public service announcement. And uh, as the old lady says over here, vodka equals water. I love vodka. And that's the kind of chicks you got. You need to be serving the whiskey, too, out there at these military, you know, you know, freaking brainstorming meetings you got out there because I think there'd be a hell of a lot more smiling faces out there in the military audience when you're talking to them 
Maybe they won't be paying attention as well, but, you know, maybe that's, that's a drawback, but, you know, what the hell. They'll remember, you just give them, you give them all the stuff in the beginning, in the first two minutes, and then when they start getting plastered and the broads come in, you know, you give them the extra stuff, you know, at the end there, you know, because actually, you talk a lot just like I talk a lot, and that's just the way it is, you know. And so, you know, you could have these Russian babes out there freaking serving up the vodka and maybe some Italian wine, too, right? Get some good stuff from south of Italy, you know, get some of that in there for a little variety. And, um, you know, the meeting would be a smash, because everybody would come out of it. Even if they didn't remember what you said, Vlad, they'd be saying, oh, our leader's great. That's all they'd be thinking. Boy, I had a great time. And I know, you know, you can't be doing this all the time, 24 hours, seven days a week, getting drunk like certain elements in our military. Well, I think your military does the same thing as the American military because there's certain elements in there. You know, if you're, uh, you're running a PFT and you get behind one of these people, even if you're on a hump and they're, you're excreting alcohol out of their skins and their pores and you're getting drunk off the fumes from their skin, you know, to, to sweat. You know, I, I'm sure you got that in the mer- in Russian military too. But, you know, you got to have some fun up there every once in a while and just make the meeting more memor- memorable, whatever they want to call it, memorable. And uh, this message has been brought to you by Putin the Cat. Putin the Cat is actually the overseer of the world. Secret clandestine cat works with the freaking alien force and UFOs and whatever you want to call it. I know I'm just bullshitting on air, but you know, hey, just throwing some humor out here at the freaking crazy situation we got coming up because there's one thing that the East and the West has in common it's vodka and hot Russian chicks. I could tell you that right now. So, you know, we I think the West would fight for hot Russian chicks too. So, anyway, Vlad. You got to get some happy faces out there in the audience. So, I mean, you're an intelligent guy, you know, but sometimes you're not seeing every aspect of the mosaic. And I just point out one aspect of the mosaic you need to improve upon. And, um, you know, this would also be good with relations to the West because you know, next time you got a meeting, you know, you bring the, you know, the crooks in action CIA in there and all that kind of stuff and whatever else. And uh, they can get drunk with the Russian broads and have a good time. And, uh, you know, we all know we're on the same side and we're allies. Because that's really the way I want it, to tell you the truth. You know, over and out. That's, this has been a public service message by Mr. Putin the Cat. Over and out.